Starfleet Academy Historical Weapon Series. The purpose of these episodes is to give Academy cadets like you greater appreciation of Starfleet's tactical history and familiarize you with the weapons of our allies and adversaries. Our first episode focuses on one of the most iconic sidearms ever issued. It is known by many nicknames, the 65er, the single stack, and old slab sides. The Model 2265 Type 2 Hand Phaser. The history of directed energy weapons in Starfleet predates the founding of the Federation. The first example adopted by United Earth was the EM-33 High Intensity Laser Pistol. However, the EM-33 suffered heavily from particle drift, degraded performance beyond 100 meters, and short power pack life. In 2151, Starfleet replaced the EM-33 with the Generation 1 Phase Pistol. The Gen 1 used a newly discovered form of electromagnetic energy, nadion radiation. It was safer, more efficient, and allowed for a reliable, less than lethal stun setting. In the 2240s, Starfleet briefly returned to high-powered laser pistols. Enhanced power cells made the weapons more reliable than phase pistols in certain energy and subspace dampening environments. In 2255, Starfleet Command introduced a new Generation 2 phaser pistol. This weapon fired rapid bursts of nadion radiation in more focused frequencies. This was the primary sidearm of Federation forces before, during, and directly following the Klingon War of 2256 to 2257. However, it was designed mostly for self-defense purposes and had strict energy governors to prevent accidental overload or excessive collateral damage. Many frontline Federation soldiers complained that these safety features cost personnel their lives in battles with fanatical Klingon warriors bent on victory at any cost. In 2265, a new pistol addressed these concerns. A steady beam of energy replaced the quick nadion pulses. A user could train this beam on a target until it was neutralized, destroyed, or even completely vaporized. The digital safety features were also dialed back, allowing the weapon's strength setting to be increased to the point it could actually decimate an entire city block. The M2265 is actually two weapons in one. The upper Type 1 section is removable from the lower receiver. This creates a smaller weapon more easily concealed underneath a uniform for self-defense purposes during things like low-risk meetings, or hidden under native clothing for pre-first contact scenarios. The Type 1 retains many of the larger weapon's features. However, its lack of an extended emitter diode and smaller power cell significantly reduces its accuracy and overall impact. However, do not underestimate a Model 2265 Type 1 phaser. It still has the necessary power to completely vaporize most humanoid targets or destroy moderately sized structures. When the Type 1 is placed back into the Type 2 body, the M2265 truly becomes a formidable sidearm. Sometimes nicknamed the Single Stack due to the one row of sarium crelide power cells in the narrow handle, this weapon is powerful enough to destroy large city blocks or even the deck of a starship when overloaded. The analog controls are simple, reliable, and combat proven in dozens of engagements. The safety is located on the left side of the receiver. Up and down is safe, and forward is fire. The power control is located on the upper side of the Type 1 housing, with levels ranging from very low stun at 1 to maximum setting at 20. An optical day-night targeting scanner can be deployed to assist in hitting targets at ranges beyond 10 meters. However, this is usually kept stowed when carrying the weapon in a holster. A dial on the front of the primary diode emitter can be adjusted with great precision, from a narrow cutting beam all the way to a wide 45-degree field arc. Another unique feature of the M2265 is its manual overload dial located just forward of the ancillary cooling fins on the rear of the frame. This feature controls the amount of energy forced back from the emitter stage into the pre-fire chamber. When the power cells are running low, this creates feedback, 
prolonging operations when either recharging or a fresh power stick are unavailable. In addition, when set to a level of 9, the overload switch creates steady feedback, which will cause the phaser to detonate as an explosive device, an added level of versatility on away missions. The M2265 was beloved by security personnel, away teams, and Federation Marines alike during its period of service. Though the M2265 was phased out of service by the mid-2280s, many historians and collectors alike both see this weapon as the symbol of Starfleet's golden age.